Well, hello there, wonderful internet people. Today is my build day. Um, I'm gonna start the Route de Kret, which is in the Washkas, I think it's called, um, in a few days from now with a dear friend of mine. And before we do that, I wanna get a few things sorted with the van. So for today, we're gonna build two shelves, which come in my kitchen over here and we finally gonna um, fix the door under my sink and actually put a door there that is a door so let's do that so there are two kind of small projects that i want to do today one has to do with this cutting board um, which is going to become two shelves in my kitchen and the other one if we get the time to do it is i want to put a door under my sink that actually is a door um, so that that's out of the way. So yeah, let's go. So when I built this van, I kind of quickly built this door and put it in to disguise the ugliness behind, but it's not really what you would call a door. So it misses some dory bits to do dory stuff, like opening and closing. Um, and that is what we're gonna do now. Um, so I'm gonna need a way to fix hinges to this door and keep it shut when I'm driving. And let's do that. So in order to actually build the door, I need to take the cloth off first um, because we need to find a way to make a bit of space for the hinges and then it's just a matter of putting the hinges on the side oops, and fixing this guy on the other um, which is kind of a little metal guy that snaps in place and then we're done.
My new dog. Welcome to the finished door. Um, I did all the rest of it yesterday, finished it, and now it opens. Uh, unfortunately, I broke the knob a bit. So we need to glue that in place again, but that's no biggie. Um, so let's move on to what we initially wanted to do, which is the shelves up here. It's a thing called rail. The actual rail was a bit too wide to be able to fix it, so small wood.
Hey guys. So, after I just realized that I cut all of these short links too short because I cut them for exactly the right size that should be sticking out of the wall, but I neglected the like two centimeters that are gonna be sticking inside the wall. So I have to recut all of those. And after finding out that the fitting I put on here is on there really tight so that I can only destroy it while removing it. See that? That doesn't fit anything anymore. I went to the hardware store again and bought something new. And I hate that, but it needs to be done. And finally I found the right angles that you don't need an extra fitting for. And I also found some angles that are 45 degrees instead of 90. And that for those kind of um, shelves will make it way nicer shape. <sighs> so I'm gonna try and do all of those again and then come back and put it on the wall. But I'm pretty sure I'm gonna show you the finished result and all of that tomorrow because for today I'm done, I'm knackered. Have a good night, see you tomorrow. Hey guys, so it's the next day and I couldn't rest yesterday. I had to finish what I started. So finally um, I can present to you basically um, the finished uh, the finished shelves. Um, what I did without you is I just um, uh, drilled a hole into the wall, um, uh, put Sigaflex in the hole and um, Sigaflex the Ra railings, railings, pipings in there. Um, yeah, now they're finished. The door is finished. Um, I am going to show you the finished results now. And I'm going to see all your lovely faces next week. Goodbye. The door is finished now, opens, closes, and I like the little... Uh, okay, that's not finished. The things we do to get a shot.